Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's video, I've just got the one replay in the tier nine tank destroyer, uh, the AAT-60. Now this is an American premium tank that came out last year at some point. Um, <clears throat> not as a season pass or anything, just an exclusive premium tank. Um, now this thing is just cracked. Um, it's it's definitely up there as a as a really decent TD. Um, now I do apologise for the video. Unfortunately, uh, this was recorded off of the Xbox replay system. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have enough storage space to record the video properly. So I do apologise for the quality of the video, but um, it yeah, you know, it's still decent enough to uh, to to show how we got on here. So. Um, Initially, I'm platooned up with uh, lateral mass. Um, mass is in the Conqueror. Uh, we're top tier, so I've decided uh, I'm going to take the usual spot at the ridge here, which is um, a bit more of an unorthodox position for a tank destroyer. But uh, you know, this tank destroyer, is, you, know, you can see, it's got a very slim turret. Um, turret's got uh, has got a bit of armor on it. It's I wouldn't say it's something you could play hold down with properly, um, but you know with that narrow turret, you know hard for um, hard for players to try and um, get you know try and pen your turret basically because you know it's just it's going to be hard. So it's not really much to aim at. But um, we've just come up here. We're going to try and see if we can catch people out crossing. And um, that doesn't seem to be the case. There's not many coming in the corner here, so. Um, seeing we're already four tanks down, I've sort of said to you know, me and Matt sort of agreed that it's probably best we push this, try and start putting some damage on before we, uh, you know, before this game runs away of us. Um, just try not to get in the way of Mass there. Um, and we've got this E75 on the corner there and a 50 TP up uh, above us. And I let Mass take his shot, unfortunately, he doesn't pen, but. Um, we, we're just buying our time. See, 75 pops out. We take a shot, but we bounce. Unfortunately, his lower plate was just angled. Um, 50 TP starts getting some hurt on him now, so he's um, he's backing off a bit. This KPZ is just above us. He's getting some shots in, so the 50 TP turns his turret and gives us the ideal opportunity to get a shot into the side of his turret. Um, we've just been wearing that E75, but now we're just going to look at these tanks that are above. Um, but I decided, said to Mass, right, we'll, we'll just focus this E75 out if we can. Uh, I get a shot into his track. Mass gets a nice shot into his lower plate. And um, you know, we're just buying the time here. But I decided, going to take a shot, pop a shot into him, and then our friendly heavy tank manages to take him out. And now this gives us the freedom to swing around and start putting the punish on these three tanks here. You know, we can start sort of putting these guys in a crossfire, which is going to give them a bit of a problem. And like I say, he'll said to Mass, you know, we should focus his T32 first. We start getting some shots into him. He manages to just about get out, but nice SU um, 101 is sat right in front of us. See the brass across the way, and it's decided to turn my attention. And um, yeah, me and Mass put some shots into the brass there, just because that is a dangerous tank, and that's one tank number one left at the end of the game. Um, you know, because that's going to cause us quite a few problems. So. Um, luckily, we've got a few shots into him. You can see the numbers are really unbalanced here. We're, you know, we're down three tanks, and I kind of feel like uh, this is slipping away from us here. Um, the Reds have completely taken the other flank and uh, start capping. So me and Mass sort of decide we're going to go back and defend the base. Um, <clears throat> you see this medium tank's kind of on his own here, so we want to try and get back and support him as well if we can. Um, so yeah, we, we're gonna make our way back to the base now. Um, unfortunately, KPZ is taking a bit of a hammering from the stuff that's back there. And we see this uh, object 430 in the distance. We tried getting a shot, but unfortunately, we, um, I think that just dirt underneath his lower plate. So that was really unfortunate there. Um, now this turtle comes out, unfortunately, gets a shot into the KPZ and takes him out. However, I'm going to aim a shot and luckily we get rid of him. So again, another dangerous tank to get out of the game. You know, light tanks, is, light tanks, brasks, there's stuff that you don't want that, you know, left alive at the end game. Get a shot into that 257 there across the way that's sitting in the middle of the map. 
Now we're just going to pay our attention to the base. We're going to ignore these guys down the bottom here. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, we, we just want to get this reset. Now the, the Libertators get, you know, get spotted by Mass. Uh, luckily I managed to get a shot into his track, resetting the cap. And now I'm just going to make my way over and get across and, you know, get cross shots on him um, and put some punish on him just to try and get him out of the cap. Now you can see we're, there's just three tanks now. There's just me, Mass, and a heavy tank against seven tanks. So it's becoming a little bit sort of unfavorable. However, luckily I take out Liberté, and Mass takes out the Legion. So, you know, we, we brought the numbers a little bit closer. Mass also gets rid of the Brass, which is a really good shot there because like I say, you know, now we don't have to worry about getting out spotted. Um, and, and getting clipped out by the Barasks. So now we've put the game on sort of more our favorable, favorable terms. Um, now originally I was gonna sort of push down our flank um, and, and go for that 257. However, this T32 is a one shot and I wanna, you know, it's probably best we stick together with this other heavy tank, try and give him support. Um, now he takes out the T32, which is brilliant. So now we're, we're level on numbers. So, um, you know, this, this game's a, a lot more, you know, it's winnable basically. It's a lot more favorable than what it was. Um, you know, there was, there was a couple of points in this game where I thought, mm, this is it. Unfortunately, this full health waffle has now gone into our heavy tank. And um, yeah, I want to get up there as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, our heavy tank gets taken out. So that's really unfortunate there. Um, now, I was talking to Mass at this point. I knew the 257 was in the middle there and he's just popped up. Um, I think Mass has managed to get a shot into him and put him on a one shot. However, Mass is now a one shot himself. Um, and I was gonna go after this waffle, but now I sort of thought I'm gonna actually turn my attention, try and see if I can get this 257 out and help Chris out. Um, Chris is sort of left in no man's land there. Uh, try and get a shot into that 257, unfortunately it hits his track. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can get a kill shot. And now this waffle is poked out, Chris has managed to get a shot into him, which is good. I get a shot into the waffle and I track him in place. The waffle now, pays his attention to me, um, which is a bit bizarre. Chris, uh, Mass manages to get a shot into him. I manage to get a shot into the waffle and yeah, Chris, uh, Mass takes out the waffle. Um, so yeah, that, that, I mean, that was weird. The waffle didn't focus Mass um, and, and get him out before me, but it is what it is. I was, you know, that was fine. I had the hit points so I could spare them. Um, and I tried getting a shot into that 257. This 257 now knows where I, where I am. <clears throat> he's obviously seen the shot and yeah, he's, he's racing over here. Um, so now we're just gonna, you know, it's gonna be a bit of an awkward one. 257 has got real trolley armor. Uh, tried getting a shot into his upper plate there, I think, um, but it just angles it right. So he shows sort of the pike nose. Um, but we poked out here, we'd see he took a shot so we could take our time. Um, we had the hit points to take a shot if need to be. Um, and luckily we get a shot into his lower plate and take him out. So now there's just me and artillery. Um, it's kind of obvious where the artillery is going to be. It's going to be up here somewhere. Um, they're usually in the back, sort of hiding in K, K5 area. Um, right behind that dune. So I'm going to make my way up there, just try and see if I can spot him up. Uh, and, and, and sort of get in an angle and get some shots into him. Uh, however, he just appears out of nowhere on my left hand side. 71 hit points, he's showing his lower plate in an easy shot. So, yeah, um, and that brings a end to the replay. So, yeah, we managed to clutch up and come top of the board with uh, 5.2k damage, 5 kills, um, only minimal assists, just 386. Um, Mass had a really good game as well, so uh, yeah, credit to him. That was some really good platoon play there. Only got the first class, but like I say, it was just yeah, that was a really good game to uh, to highlight. I think. 
and uh, and yeah that that that's it for the video guys so uh hope you enjoyed it and i'll uh, see you next time